All right, Hoopers, we need to have a little bit of an uncomfortable conversation. So I need to make the distinction between being passionate about an art form and teaching that art form. So I think it's incredible that there are so many people every single day getting into hoop dance. They're finding inspiration through it. They're finding movement meditation. They're getting healthier and happier, and it is wonderful to witness. Um, I've been in this world for 15 years. I've been training hoop dance teachers since 2012 through my American Council on Exercise approved hula hoop fitness program. And during that time, I've also seen a lot of people kind of talk about like, is certification for hooping necessary? And why can't I just go into um, a place and rent it and ask people to come and just start teaching? Well, it's kind of the same idea of if uh, you just grab a set of keys and you jump into a car, you don't need to know the rules of the road, you don't need to have a driver's license, and technically, you could probably operate that vehicle, but is it a good idea? Probably not. There's a reason why fitness certifications exist, and the reality is, if you are stepping into the role of an instructor, then you're also stepping into a role where people are expecting you to deliver safe, fun, and effective classes. So safe, you need to know about body mechanics. You need to understand about the different ways to prevent injury. You need to know how to construct a safe experience for your students. Um, effective, it's helpful to know which hula hoop exercises are the ones that are gonna promote maximum fitness benefits. Um, and the delivery of instruction, the different teaching methods because different people pick up um, learning in different ways. So there's a whole world of knowledge out there that's going to help equip you in terms of becoming a really good instructor. Uh, at the end of the day, I mean, if you're having a flow jam and bringing a bunch of hoops to a park and sharing tricks and, you know, it's just for fun and you're not expecting people to like pay money to, to have that experience, by all means, rock on, do that. Or if you're somebody who's perhaps gone through a 200 hour yoga teacher training, you're probably a lot more equipped to teach a hula hoop fitness class because you understand the basics of teaching movement, of teaching group fitness, and you've already been through some type of training. So I wanted to open up this conversation because our art form is still on the rise. It's still relatively new um, in, the, in the fitness world, especially. So I know people are passionate about sharing their passion with others, but I think it's also important to be mindful of doing it in a way in which people are really going to maximize the benefits of it and make sure that you're protected also as the instructor, that you're not going to get yourself in a situation where somebody gets injured in your class and you don't have insurance, things like that that are not fun to think about, but they are necessary to think about. I would love to hear your thoughts.